Alright YouTube, Criminal here, back to another MK1 video. In this one, I'm gonna just be discussing a few system changes that have to has to be made. Like, they must make these changes as fast as possible. I'm not I'm not talking when I'm saying until the end of the month. Like, in this coming week, they, this needs to be patched. It, there's no time to be slow about this. They have to patch this out now. So yeah, first of all, just matchmaking like in online. They don't have like rookie issues like uh, like arena fighters sometimes have be, the, no spectator mode or stuff like that. This game has a spectator mode, a king of the year, it always had. So yeah, but the problem with uh, online matches, first of all, uh, the the disconnect. Like uh, sometimes you just you press you press three match in an online setting, it just disconnects. I don't understand why it just goes black screen and then until one of the players just disconnects from the game, like it just stays there frozen in black screen. Also, the game just has, has a tendency to just freeze randomly, like... I recorded a Baraka video recently and just it froze after I did the Brutal for like 10 seconds and I saw the opponent disconnected, so... Yeah, there are just random ass freezes in online and just sometimes it just disconnect you and I... I actually had a set where I was 2-0 and then it disconnected, it did a black screen bullshit and I actually got a loss and that really drove me mad, man, it, it's fucking stupid. I was, I was going to get... I almost got ranked up to Demigod and I just got lost because of nonsense. So, I should have got that lost and it's annoying me, why should I lose after going 2-0 against the guy who was nowhere near my level? And I was using Baraka, so he carried me hard, but still, regardless. Next up, uh, after the black screen bullshit, they need to have training mode available while you're searching for matches in online. This is something every fighting game should have. I don't want to sit there for, even, uh, I don't want to sit there for minutes in the future. Right now, it's not that prominent of an issue because this game is very popular right now because it just came out, but... Once time passes and the game and the player base naturally just gets smaller and smaller as time goes on, this game is gonna be is gonna stay successful for years to come if they address these issues, of course. But you need to have a practice mode available while searching for online matches. I don't want to sit there for five minutes in 2025 searching for matches. It's it's stupid. I want to lap some shit while I'm while I'm searching for a match. So yeah, just fix this. It's it's five minutes to do it really. Both of the things I mentioned. Like, a server disconnection is fucking stupid, because this game's netcode is pretty good. It's honestly pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's a rollback type netcode, because every match I had is pretty much, was pretty much smooth, regardless of the MS I had with the opponent. But, it's, but it was only that if, I, if they used the LAN cable, which is my next point. Why the fuck do I have to find Wi-Fi or players? Let me just filter them out, like in Street Fighter 6, you can just filter out Wi-Fi. You can just search for only LAN cable players. I, I bought a LAN cable for my own money. I want to fight a, an opponent using a LAN cable, I don't want to suffer from the lag. And another thing that's attached to, uh, attached to that, sometimes you just can't decline an opponent. You see an opponent like he can have 1,500 MS and I just can't say no. So I don't understand why that happens and that needs urgent addressing as well. And next up, of course, the biggest issue with this game for sure. That is something I should have said from the get-go, maybe but I just, I, for some reason, just remember it now, but yeah. Player one advantage. Unfortunately, a rookie mistake that exists in this game. This up zero combo. What the fuck? This up zero combo, this. That ice clone link only works if you are player one. It works from both sides, both stances. I'm using the same controller, by the way. This doesn't work. It just drops regardless of where I do it from. It drops. You can't connect it, it's impossible. So yeah, the reason for that, first of all, it's a bug, it's not intentional for sure, but the reason for that is either a gravity situation, like the player one has more gravity, it just drops faster, or a, a hitbox situation, like player two has worse hitboxes. So yeah, stupid, ridiculous, remove this immediately. This is not something that should be in a modern fighting game. The last time Mortal Kombat game to have this on release was MK9. MK9. MK9 released 12 years ago. Dude, what the fuck, NRS? Like, uh, seriously, this is this is a rookie mistake from the PS3 era. That that is what it is. This is this shouldn't be a case for modern fighting games. This is completely stupid. So yeah, this needs urgent changing. I'm not saying uh, the other stuff. I might I can wait a few months maybe. I would want them to be addressed until the until a few weeks from now for sure. But this one, they need to fix this in the next patch and in the follow in the coming week. Like. This needs to be fixed now, not not later, not down the months, not in the next year. This needs to be to be fixed now. Until the end of the month, I want to see this fixed because this is an issue that can kill the game. 
these skills, combat league, these skills, competitive scenes, this skills, everything. The game is completely unfair that, uh, because of that. So yeah, this has to be fixed. Urgently. This is the most urgent patch requirement I've ever seen in any fighting game. This is ridiculously ruining the game. Really, this has to be fixed. Immediately. So yeah, with that bullshit aside, next up, another thing we have. First of all, uh, not first of all, another thing is just, why can't I pin things in training mode? I could do it in, I think in MK9 I could do it. Why can't I do it here? Like, what the fuck? MK11 added, MKX added, why now just take it out? I mean, what's the fucking point? Let me just pin them and have them on the left side of the screen, up there. Why not? I mean, I want a lab sheet. It's much more convenient to pin multiple strings instead of just being forced, like in the character breakdown video. We have one, two, two. Pretty decent string, plus some block. Let's check what's next. Forward one, two, three. You, you see where I'm going with this. If you watch any of my character, because that's how I go with it. I go in a chronological order from top to bottom of the move list, and it takes me so much time because I have to pause the game, go to the move list, and go from string to string to string to bottom to bottom. This is ridiculous. So yeah, this is ridiculous. Stupid. Fix this now. I don't understand why, why the game didn't release with this option. They had it in every Mortal Kombat game until now. And finally, just this is more of a this is a major issue, but it doesn't affect as many players. Actually, it does. It affects everybody. Actually, it's a much it's a massive issue. Actually, it's a competitive scene, man. This game just released, and the official studios and the official developers they haven't made any words about like a World Tour, CEO, Evo stuff like that. Like the big the big boy tournaments, they haven't organized any tournaments for like the first weeks of the game. These weeks are the most hype weeks in a game's lifespan. These are for sure the most hype weeks. Maybe just first time in EVO is more hype. But this is a, an extremely hype time for Mortal Kombat 1. This game is still very fresh. People are coming up with nasty shit every single moment. Like every five minutes you can see a new clip from Mortal Kombat 1 on YouTube. A single new stuff, somebody finding out new tech, stuff like that. How in the hell do, do the official publishers don't organize a tournament? All of the tournaments that are organized until now, there were much smaller tournaments, there were private events, and they were all organized by private organizations and or individuals. Like, what? I don't understand this. Street Fighter 6, like less than a month after its release, it had a $1 million price tournament, man. This is how you keep a fighting game hype. This is how you make a fighting game hype and relevant for a long time. Street Fighter 6 is killing it in popularity because of this. They addressed all of these issues, they playtested the game, they showed a lot of love into it. I don't say this game it hasn't. The gameplay, the visuals, everything in this game, except for the issues I'm stressing out here, are fantastic, but these are basic issues. This shouldn't be in the game. So yeah, competitive scene. If you don't understand why it's so important for a fighting game, even if you are a casual player, the way fighting games gain popularity, regain it, you could say, after the release, is from competition. Like, people see the best players in the world tag, tag it out in a fight, for like a, a massive prize money, for uh, for prizes, for just the stakes, the the hype tournaments. Like uh, if you are a Dragon Ball Fighters fan, I don't know if you are. A Dragon Ball Fighters is another very popular fighting game. It still is because of a great competitive scene. But Goichi and Sonic Fox are probably the most iconic rivalry in fighting game history in that game. It was crazy. It, the anticipation for every tournament to see these two fight it out in the grand finals. They were pre pretty much in, in every tournament. The anticipation was off, was through the roof, man. You, you were seeing videos with millions of views of their sets online. So, these things are what brings fighting game players back. A set, a grand final from Goichi and Sonic Fox is what actually drove me to play, to buy Dragon Ball Fighters. And I'm 100% I, I'm sure I wasn't the only one. This is how you keep a fighting game alive from the, competi from the competition and the pros showing the potential of this game. So yeah, guys, just, these are issues that I wanted to stress out. This has to be fixed urgently, especially the player one bullshit. The rest also has to be fixed, but it's not as urgent, for sure. Except for maybe the competitive scene. This is disappointing to see the developers aren't just organizing tournaments right now. Like, they should have organized tournaments before the game even released. Like, day one tournaments, stuff like that. This is how you make the hype of a game last. Tournaments. They need to have a consistent stream of tournaments. Or at the very least, just announce there will be a World Tour, there will be CEO, there will be EVO. Dragon Ball Fighters is five years old and it's still in every major tournament. That's why the game is still popular. So yeah guys, I'm just gonna wrap this one up here. These are system issues that need urgent addressing. If I missed anything uh, that you think is worth noting, please feel free to leave it in the comments. If I see stuff that are major and I forgot to talk about, I will make another video of this passion or maybe just a short video to just discuss it. 
But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let's just hope this gets fixed ASAP because the the future of the new era relies on that man. <laughs> it's that urgent, man. It's really that that urgent. This game is so much love put into it, man. It really does. It has so much love and effort put into it from the models that are just beautiful to the character animations to the facial animations that are absolutely gorgeous. The facial animations are more realistic than my own face in real life. That's how good the animation quality is, man. They must, man. They must fix this urgently. This is not something they can wait. So, yeah, just please, for the love of God, NRS, fix this as fast as possible. This is such a gem of a fighting game, man. It's so fun to play. It can just die like this. And it can die if they don't fix it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.